4 million babies are born each year in the U.S. Of those babies, 40,000 of them will be born with a congenital heart defect. Congenital heart defects are the most common birth defect in the U.S., according to the CDC. Congenital heart defects can be anything from a hole inside the walls of the heart, a leaky or narrowed valve, and in more serious cases, major chambers and arteries can be missing, misplaced, or even malformed. CHD is extremely underfunded and under-researched compared to the amount of children it affects each year, according to the Children's Heart Foundation, who have donated more than $9 million to research that has led to children with CHD being able to live longer, fuller, happier lives. The causes of CHD are unknown. It has been found linked to some genetics, but not always. It has been found linked to some environmental factors that the mother faces, but again, not always. Some of these factors can include medications that the mother has taken, alcohol consumption, and smoking during pregnancy. But the problem is that a heart is formed within the first week of gestation, which means that if a baby is going to have CHD, it's already been determined well before a mother even knows that she's pregnant most of the time. Surgery is required for one in four babies that are born with a CHD. However, for most of these babies, surgery is not a cure. And while many live otherwise healthy lives, some develop other disabilities that are related to the heart and can be related to other things as well. Follow-ups are required forever through a cardiologist. It's important that they take medication whenever they have any sort of procedure, such as dental work done, in order to prevent infections in the heart. CHD is not always caught. Symptoms can be hard to spot, and sometimes nobody really notices. Babies can look a little bit more blue. They can have a heart murmur, but the thing is that tons of babies are born with a heart murmur that closes within the first 24 hours of life. There's also been a mandatory newborn pulse oximetry screen, screening where they check the pulse ox of the pulse oxygen levels of one finger and the toe on the opposite foot of the hand that they check. This screening has led to many cases that may have gone unseen to be solved or be, been found in congenital heart defects. I know that this is how they found my sons. When he was born, he had a heart murmur and they told me it would go away and it wouldn't be a big deal. At 24 hours old, he failed the newborn pulse, ox or pulse oximetry screening. After that, they ordered an echocardiogram, detailed pictures of the heart. Watching that lady do the ultrasound tech do the test, I knew something was wrong. They sat me down and told me that there was something wrong with my son's heart. They sent us from Pueblo to Denver to Children's Hospital for more advanced testing. Since then, my son has had three heart surgeries and will continue to have heart surgeries throughout his entire life. More research and funding should be designated to CHD to help reduce the statistics and save babies' lives. I have made it my mission to spread awareness for CHD.